Hello everyone! I've decided to create a new survival world. I'm gonna be playing on hard difficulty and it's mostly technical stuff that I'm gonna build. I'm just gonna go set up some basic stuff. So, cue the montage. So I've decided to try find a stronghold and uh, let's hope I can do it with one eye of ender. So it's now several eyes of Ender later, and I find this room. <laughs> I mean, what even is this? It's just a portal room. Huh. Yeah. It's really just this room. Okay, Mojang, you can do better than that. Looks like I need to do some more Enderman hunting. I'm back with more Eyes of Ender, and it's time to kill the Ender Dragon. And... Here we go. And I have brought a bow and some snow blocks for pillaring up, uh, and some ladders. And the snow blo blocks are also quite nice because they work out as some projectiles as well. So they can actually damage the dragon. But what little Miranda's MC didn't know was that this has changed and that this is gonna be the biggest mistake he'll ever make. Yeah. Let's go. I forgot a pickaxe.
And the dragon egg. I'm gonna collect that later. And it's time for another achievement. I went to the world spawn trying to see if some XP fell into the portal. And indeed it did. Huh, that's two more levels. Hmm. For my first big project, I'm gonna need a lot of ender pearls. So I thought about building an enderman farm first, uh, here close to the exit portal, so I have an easy way to get the ender pearls out of the end. So, let's get on with building. I needed a name tag for my Enderman farm, so I used uh, Panda 4994's fishing farm overnight and it worked out really really well. You see, I got several name tags, like 5 here and 8 here, and I even got a mending book. So I would say mission successful and now I'm ready to continue building the Enderman farm. Now I only need to get an endermite on top of this block and the endermen that are gonna spawn here will happily fall down. So let's get to it.
on the first try. <laughs> okay, that was lucky. And I'm just gonna name him. There we go. Oops. And I caught him. This should work now. And the Enderman farm is done. This Enderman farm is Endermite based, um, and this type of farm was first showed by Dockham77, Whoopi, Code Raider, and Panda4994. I'm gonna link the video in uh, the description. And I still need to add a few things here and there on this farm. I still need to add the Ender Pearl collection system, which will transport the Ender Pearls out of the end and into my overworld so I can easily access the Ender Pearls. Uh, other than that, I'm just gonna make this place look a little nicer, um, and that's about it. Look how fast it is! So, I needed some ice for the Enderman farm. And I thought, I'm just gonna go get some packed ice, since it's a lot easier to work with um, than normal ice. And I'm just gonna try get a full inventory of it. Oh, and it's actually f instant mine. That's not gonna take very long. So, I think I have enough ice now. And it's time to head home. Are you ready for the big reveal? Ta-da! And that's the new design for the Enderman farm. As you can see, I changed the theme to to suit the end. And I also changed the drop shaft uh, of the Enderman. So now they fall down a one wide uh, hole. And that makes it really easy to whack them with my sword. And I also moved this enchantment table closer. so. I have an easy time enchanting, and that's some good thorns right there. And I also added this Ender Pearl collection system, uh, which sorts out the Ender Pearls and dispenses them into the into the water stream, and then they will go to my ore world. Right now they're going into lava since I have way too many Ender Pearls. And um, if I drop something like my axe into the collection system, they it will be sorted out and placed into this chest. And here's the redstone. It's basically a dropper with an item filter, uh, three times over. And uh, if you want, you can pause the video to get a better look at it. I also added this lever, which increases the fall height of the endermen by one block, uh, killing them so I can farm ender pearls instead of XP. I'm now up on the spawning platform, and as you can see, things have changed a little. I'm still using the old Endermite design, but now I'm using a fence gate instead of a trapdoor, which allows the fence to connect to the trapdoor, 
and now the hitbox of the fence occupies one block and that allows the enderman to fall down a one wide hole. I also added this, these slime blocks and some redstone and uh, it basically just moves uh, these blocks up by one and that makes the enderman fall one block further. And uh, that's how I can control if I want to farm XP or just ender pearls. It's time to wrap up the episode and we really did get a lot done. But you can join me next time, where we'll create mob spawners in survival Minecraft.